98 CDU GS main drive shaft flywheel to drive shaft boot replacement this is the boot this is where the grease goes here and just connects to the flywheel well this end connects to the jet pump which I took out so you want to pull the jet pump out pretty much four screws on this side four screws on the other side which connect right here and then you'll have the drive shaft that will come out of that hole and stick out by a far This is how it looks inside. The drive shaft will come out of this hole and uh, connect to that hole and the flywheel. Now this is where the lubing is, this is where the grease nipple is. So what you want to do You want to take, uh, pull this bushing back and remove this half moon ring which sits this side here. This also has two seals inside to prevent water from entering the sea dew. Just the rubber boot. That holds this. And these two seals intact right around here. This goes like this, this goes like this, that goes like that. Then this boot connects over the shaft and it connects to the flywheel, and this goes inside the flywheel. And pretty much. This shaft goes underneath the sea dew and connects right into the jet pump. There's also a couple seals and uh, o rings and uh, bearings, three bearings inside the jet pump. And some just need to be replaced. Check the oil on the jet pump. All you gotta do is undo this uh, hex nut. And actually put put a nail inside of it or something something uh, a little dipstick to make sure that the oil inside is not gray if the if the oil is gray that means water got inside the uh, seals and it's time to replace the seals and I'll do the bearings at the same time but if the oil is uh, still dark and uh, kind of brownish I mean like oily color then uh, just uh, just Remove the oil and put some new oil in and the jet pump should be good. As you can see, you can also check for damage on your jet pump. I had this CD for over 10 years now and uh, caused some damage to it by sucking up rocks. So what I did is I filed the blades down a couple areas. Instead of replacing the whole new impeller, you can just sand them down so it uh, so it's not as rugged. Anyways, thanks.